Mrs. Munoz? At first, I noticed small changes in him. Then it all happened so fast. He was on edge, paranoid. He would wake up in the middle of the night screaming. I'd never heard him scream before. Then he just stopped sleeping altogether. I would catch him having these conversations with himself. He was just seeing things, doing strange things that he didn't even seem to remember. Then one morning he was gone. That night the police called and told me he was dead. They asked me to identify his body. His face. <laughs> 25 years of marriage, and that's what I have left to remember him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did Gabriel ever describe the things that he was seeing? I'll show you. I should take it all down, but I can't stand being in here. This is what Gabriel said he saw. He kept saying it was trying to get inside of him. That is Gabriel's brother. He died in an accident 20 years ago. Gabriel never got over it. How long had this been? Ever since he got back from that damn conference he would go to every year. It was because he saw that awful woman kill herself. But no one reports on that. He watched someone die by suicide? Yes. I assumed you knew this. What was her name? I don't remember. I'd have to find it. Um, did, did he ever, um, say why all of this was happening? Did he find any explanation in all of this? What kind of reporter are you? Mrs. Munoz, your husband was not insane. The things that he was seeing, they're real. I've seen them. What are you, a fucking nutcase? Some kind of morbid fanatic? How fucking dare you? No, please. Please, what happened to your husband is happening to me. Out of my house. I want you out of my I, house please, now. Just, just please give me the name. Please just give me the name. Get the fuck out of my house! <laughs>